The production of ethanol, however, has always been controversial. There are two entirely different theories about ethanol. The first theory believes ethanol is cleaner, renewable energy with much lower carbon emissions. The lower carbon emissions will contribute to mitigation of climate change. So ethanol is looked as a savior of global warming. Also, with the increase in oil prices in recent years, ethanol promises to be cheaper than petroleum. So not only is good for farmers and domestic economy, but makes you less dependent on Middle Eastern oil. Well, this looks like a strong statement, but don't judge before you hear the other theory. The other theory believes that not only ethanol doesn't make the environment cleaner, but makes it dirtier. How? Well, first of all, unlike gasoline, ethanol cannot be moved in pipelines because it degrades. So, using ethanol means more big polluting trucks to move the raw materials to the processing places, sometimes even to harvesting it, more fossil fuel to fertilize it, and in the end, distribute it in a country the size of the United States or Brazil. The increased push for ethanol has led to sharp increase to sugarcane and corn growing which means much more land should go under cultivation. This will result in single crop cultivation on hectares of land. In Brazil, for instance, 80% of greenhouse emissions come not from cars, but from deforestation. A hectare of land may save 13 tons of CO2 if it's used to grow sugarcane. But the same hectare can absorb 20 tons of CO2 if it remains forested. It is estimated that for each gallon of ethanol, we have to use four gallons of water. The other major issue is food versus fuel. How much are we willing to sacrifice our food supplies for fuel? In Mexico, for example, Corn is a major part of daily diet. Increase in demand for ethanol in the United States has led to skyrocketing prices in Mexico, so much so that it's considered to be a food crisis. Ethanol might be cheaper than petroleum, but it will never have the same energy density as petroleum. Ethanol contains approximately 34% less energy per gallon than gasoline, which results in 34% reduction in miles per gallon. And finally, the theory believes that the scale of ethanol supplies is never enough. For example, even by converting one quarter of all planted land in the United States to ethanol production, it wouldn't supply more than 12% of gasoline demand in that country. So, ethanol might be a slightly cleaner fuel, but it has dirty side effects. Essa energia não é limpa, não é renovável, ela não serve para o povo brasileiro. Aonde a cana, uma degradação do solo, há um consumo exacerbado das águas, né, principalmente de águas subterrâneas, né, e também há todo um prejuízo para a qualidade do ar né, da população. E com o avanço da cana vem a concentração de terra, é, o aumento da migração forçada, é, a desvalorização cada vez mais do trabalhador do corte de cana para garantir preços mais baixos na concorrência internacional. Na medida em que a cana historicamente avançou, é, ela ocupou espaço também de produção de alimentos. While we were in Brazil, investigating about ethanol, 
we came across Maria Cristina Gonzaga, a profound researcher in Ministry of Labour who has dedicated her life to studying conditions and welfare of workers.